Welcome back to Dysfunctional Channel. I am your host, Jesus Figueroa, at Dysfunctional of Dysfunctional.com. And today I get to talk to Nayan Gonzalez Norvind, who plays Marianne in writer and director Michael Frankel's film, New Order or Nueva Orden. Congratulations. I thought this thing was so astonishing. It was so intense. How, how do you prepare for, for a movie like this that j just hits so hard and, and so fast? I don't think there's a way to prepare. <laughs> I think you're just like thrown into it you're, or you throw yourself into it and hope for the best. Um, I, I mean, I, we obviously did, you know, work on the script before we, start, we started filming and I saw some film references that Michelle had been inspired by for the film and um, did research for, you know, the whole um, uh, just kidnapping abuse situation for my character. Um, so just to hear other like real life stories that I could connect with as well as Marianne's. Um, but really it was just um, waiting uh, until they would say action and then going all the way and really telling yourself you're there, you're then and there and, and seeing where it leads you, you know? But I feel like the whole, the whole team really, we, we did know where we were going. We all had a common goal. And so that made it easier. It, it's really uncomfortable for to watch certain parts of this. Uh, for you, was there any fear or any any obstacles that you had to overcome in order to get through filming on certain days? Yeah, I think you have to overcome a lot of um, pudor. Uh, I don't know how you say that. Like, yeah, shyness. I guess like a lot. A lot of you, you put your dignity aside, you put your, you know, your everything, and you just give yourself to the character because it, the, I, I always felt like the film, the, what the film was saying and the subjects it was treating were, were important enough so that like, it, I was just a vehicle for something bigger. You know what I mean? I was just a part of a, a piece in a puzzle that, that tells a story that is important for for people to hear and see, I think, because it's it serves as a warning. Um, I think for your character, especially, it, she's the the humanity in, in this movie. She she has a conscience. She has a sense of morality. Without giving too much away in the movie, uh, how did you feel her journey from the beginning of the movie to where she ends up at the end? It's a it's a one eighty, right? Like it's a it's a total total change uh, in her life. Um, what I like about this film, and I was talking to Michelle and the cast about it a, a few months ago when we were doing Press for Mexico, is that it's kind of like very tragic in, in a very classical way, you know, in which like Greek tra tragedies were tragedies because the characters involved were always not, weren't only just um, passive in like whatever destiny would like throw on them, but also responsible in their own way for what would happen to them. And it's that part of responsibility. It's like these characters who are actively participating in their own demise is what makes it so hard to watch. It's that you kind of, as a spectator, know where it's going and, and they don't. And, and that, the, that vantage point is the vantage point that Michelle wants to give us as an audience for our own lives as, as a society, right? It's like, we can still, we still have time to change some things. Every day there's like the possibility of like treating ourselves and each other better. <laughs> uh, you keep on talking about Michelle and he's a director and he did an amazing job in this. How much trust did, did, do you have to put into him directing you and, and taking you on that right path? A lot. <laughs> you, I knew I, 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 I've known him for a long time, for many years before we shot the film. So there was this familiarity to our rapport that was um, that made it easier, um, and also just trusting in the rest of the team and all the other actors who were also giving a hundred percent of themselves. And um, you, you know, it's just it's a collective effort, and you wanna you wanna give as much as you feel you're collaborators are giving definitely well congratulations you did an amazing job and thank you very much for your time thank you so much new order stars diego boneta dario jasbeck bernal and nayan gonzalez while protests rage in the streets marianne's high society family prepares for her wedding 
At first, only splatters of green paint and the appearance of Rolando, a former employee seeking emergency medical funds, intrudes on the festivities. But soon, the party is unable to keep the reckoning at bay, and what follows is a swift disintegration of law and order, defined first by class lines, then by disastrous government recapitulation. New Order is in theaters May 21st. Check out more of my stuff at dysfunctional.com. Follow me on social media at dysfunctional on Twitter and Instagram. Dysfunctional LA on Facebook. Dysfunctional on Snapchat. Check out more of my videos here on youtube.com slash dysfunctional. Check out my gaming channel dysfunctional.com slash no twitch.com slash dysfunctional. Thanks. Have a good one, guys.